Hello there, how are we all doing today? So today, I thought it'd be quite fun to go and continue all once more, and today we'll be talking about the Stock Revolver. Right now, probably my favourite gun right now, big big fan of it, so should be quite fun, I'll see you in the pub. Well, hello there, you stinky viewer. Yeah, we're apparently on Gold Rush, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, there's been a couple of camp points, and we're on defence, so this will be a wonderful place to sit and shoot people, or have the high ground Anakin, and as, here you go, First top top tip of the day, the easiest way to kill someone with a gun in TF2 is if they're standing perfectly still. The second easiest way to kill them is if they don't know you're there and they don't know how to dodge you. Because, there you go, the final piece of information, the final piece of the puzzle, the hardest way to shoot someone is if they know you're there and they dodge you. Easiest way to avoid them dodging you is to just kind of like wiggle a bit. Hello. What the hell was that even all about? Why did we even begin? So this is like bloody... OG gunnery, no? This is this is the stock gun. So let's let's not go any further than that. There's no wiki page to read off on this thing. I could say, oh, it's got 69 base damage and goes from zero to 55 in half a second, and it's very expensive to get in shot. No, that's a Ferrari. Uh, no, it's it's the stock revolver. So here we go. This is this is this is big piece of feels bad man. Uh, a big part of that tier two is that um, they give you un achievement unlocks, and for the longest time, Spice had the Ambassador. So for a lot of players, and I mean a lot, a lot, a lot of players, the moment they get an item that isn't the stock, that's what they'll be That's what they'll be using. So that includes me. When I first got the game, years and years and years and years and years, and years ago, like six or seven years ago now, as far as I knew, weapon item numbers, item levels and stuff was all like, you know, important. <laughs> I was like, hey, this gun's a level 10 revolver. That must mean it's a million times better than this level 5 revolver. Obviously not the case, but the game does a really bad way of explaining that. So for a lot of players, a lot of people just don't practice with the stock revolver. The moment they get on the Ambassador or the Lesser J or the Diamondback or the Enforcer, they're like, hey, this thing isn't the stock. That must mean it's really good. Unfortunately for them, <laughs> the stock revolver is, like, obsessively easier to use than the Ambassador. So, uh, as I said at the start, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure I said at the start, I really, really, really am a big, big fan of the stock revolver. I think it is the best revolver, in my opinion, because, let me, let me tell you why. Oh, well, and what are you talking about? You have the ambassador with a million kills on it. You use that thing all the time. Yes, that's true. I use it because it's fun. The ambassador is a fun weapon. It does that cool thing where you click on their head and then they go, Oh, he must be good because he clicked on my head. In actual fact, like, it's not as, like, the Ambassador, to, to be the best with the Ambassador, it takes a fuckload of, <laughs> wait, what's the, what's the YouTube polite? It takes a lot of work, a lot of time investment, I, he didn't mean to do it though, and a lot of, it's a little bit of, not lot luck, but kind of hoping that their internet isn't trash, because when it comes to aiming precisionly, precisionly? When it comes to aiming precisionly, I can't think of a better word, <laughs> when it comes to aiming in a precise manner, you have to hope that they aren't just gonna, like, ping around. And that's the kind of the whole weapon. If, if they do ping around, you're screwed. You can't kill them at all. And that's just a part of the weapon. It takes skill and practice and everything to use. Blah, 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 blah. Relies on a couple of things working perfectly, like... I can probably butter my fuse to death. Here you go. To go on a tangent, top tip. If there's a guy under the 40 and you can't be bothered to shoot them... Melee them! I say it every time. Not a bad idea. You do die a lot, but eventually, you know, it's fun. Anyway, stock revolver. I'm going to stop going on tangents and just speak about the first one. <laughs> Hopefully. This thing's very, very, very consistent. I've said it a million times. I've recorded hundreds and hundreds of videos where I've gone on saying, Oh, it's so consistent! Oh, what does that actually mean? Because people like saying words, but they don't like explaining why they say those words. Um, getting into the metaphysics of, uh, of YouTube commentary. TLDR. If I were to put 1,000 hours into learning the revolver, and 1,000 hours into learning the ambassador, probably be roughly the same <laughs> in terms of, like, deaths and kills and term general usefulness. The main buff of using the ambassador in Highlander, the main reason, beyond, haha, better people than me use it, uh, to use the ambu is because the Razorback is allowed, and it means that you can kill snipers with it. That That is like, that was the original reason to use it. It was or not just like, haha, I can make epic frag videos. It was, that sniper has 185 HP, and the only way to kill him is to ambu him twice. If I revolver him four or five times, I will die. And also, he will outheal me. That's not the main reason, obviously, but just take this for a bit. Maybe I should have thought this a bit through more, but... <sighs> the Razorback is A, being nerfed. B, banned in UGC, and C, no longer as much of an issue as it would have been. 
And it's gotten to the point that a lot of people spend millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of hours with their ambi. Don't really do very well, don't necessarily have a good time, and that kind of misses, for me, the whole purpose of the gun, which is, it's really fun. And if you're not having fun with it, what the bloody hell are you doing? Just use the revolver. Like, if I had thousands and thousands of hours to invest in a video game, I'd much rather spend it having fun, hence why I've used the ambassador. But if I wasn't going to do that, the bloody stock, you can be so damn good. Like, I can run up to that man, and without really having to think as hard about the ambu, I can just, like, probably kill them, even if they're, like, a mile away. Just hold down left-click and that shit does a click-click-clack, and then it takes the man's life, etc. Kind of lyrics to my new rap album. Take this medic. My aim is trash today. Do you know what I've been doing? I've been spent- I've been programming for five hours. My hands hurt. It's cold. Everything's painful. Ah! That's, you know, hence- Oh, my name isn't Ah, but if my name were Ah in game, that's what you've been thinking. Yet, despite this, I'm still doing- Alright. Apparently I've got, like, a 16 kill streak. Mostly because the dead ringer lets me get away with literally everything. Did that scout die? Okay, that scout disappeared. But anyway, if I were using the ambi, I'd probably not be getting nearly as many kills, because I'd be trying to, you know, be all meta. But oh, oh, I've got to make sure that, you know, I'm aiming at his his nostrils with my with my pogo stick, and you know, whatever it is the ambi ambi mains do, where they're like, oh, you don't stray frame. If you use your arrow keys, you're wrong. All that bloody nonsense. I'm not thinking about any of that. I'm literally running around mindlessly clicking on people, and sometimes they die. That's why he's going to kill me with the ambassador, isn't he, to prove my point. <laughs> he's So there you go. That man there, well, he did kill me with a very good ambassador shot. My amazing Mike, that was a very that was a very nice shot. Had he have just been using the stock revolver and aimed for a giant hitbox, that is my body, he would have done the same amount of damage. Enough to kill me, at least. I had, like, fit five health. So, um, to kind of try to speak in a bit more of a cohesive manner. Here we go, this is an, this is an ambassador spy. Big, big up of the revolver. So let's tie up this, you know, let's tie up that final tangent. The revolver's very, very consistent. When it comes- why am I using my bus knife? I want to show off- okay, fuck it. I want to show off how, like, in Spy v Spy Jewels, the ambassador spies are always very slow and careful. I want to make sure the head lines up with this hitbox and the, the three moons from the north are, are all, you know, they're all lined up properly or whatever the bloody Christ. You've got, you've got to summon- you've got to summon your ambassador headshot skill from a- from the nether realm, perhaps. But I didn't bother doing that, I just swiped at him to death. And while I did butter knife him to death, that's because I'm bad, and I couldn't be bothered to try and aim, so I just butter knifed him to death and went hoo hoo. Oh my... There's 50 people around. There are there are maybe 5,000 Team Fortress 2 players in this one place. So here we go. We're in a bit of a pickle here. Their team's clearly quite good. They're killing everyone in this Valve pub. That must mean they're good. So to... Instead of having to, like, be all wibbly woo and hope they don't shoot me, I'm going to instead hope they don't chase me with his Lime Scout. Oh, shit. Shoot me once, Mr. Lime Scout. Thank you. We need to go find a nice ammo pack so we don't die. Is he going to chase me all the way over here and then try and headshot the ammo pack? Thank God. Instead, we're going to get an epic trick stab. Oh. Oh. Oh, watch out. He's going to do it. He's going to get the biggest trick stab of his life. Maybe not. Okay. So there's a dummy man. He's going to be hurt. Instead of having to run after him, headshot him like a skillful player, I can just hold down my left click and hope he comes back to me. Come back to me, dummy man. Oh god, my aim is really bad today. But you know, that's all right. Instead, I can just butter knife him to death. I think my spy body blocked that scout there. Look, here we go. This is a sniper running after me with his melee out. I didn't have to, like, sit and aim for his head and fret and be all fretful and, and you know, all that fretfulness. Remember what you, Woolen used to say back when he had joy in his life? He used to say, do not fret. And then he became old and angry and started fretting about everything. This, the, the revolver is the ultimate do not fret weapon. You see that man there? You don't have to- what are you doing, demo man? He's the ultimate man spy checker. You have to kill the spy because um, he shot you earlier, and you have to show him how cool you are. That's how that works. Look. Bugger off. Come here. Come here, you little shit. <laughs> okay, he blew himself up on us. So men like that. I didn't have to fret and think, oh, oh, your mind games. Oh god, he's moving slightly and this worries me. I am just holding down my left click, and then men are dying. It's spy. It's that spy in a nutshell, really. And the revolver fits him so damn well. Because, okay. I've been saying fret over and over again, but what I mean is, um... Sometimes when you use the ambassador, you can kind of psych yourself out a bit. You're like, oh god, he's moving so weirdly, and I'm never gonna be able to hit him. There's none of that! There's just a man over there, so I click on him, and he goes away. And then he has to sit and respawn for a bit. Like, this man here is eventually going to click on us. Like, we are standing still. There you go, you did get it eventually. And now I'm gonna run onto the ammo pack and have a full dead ringer charge, because... Balanced weapon? Thank God they're getting rid of that and not the speed boost, which is actually... We'll talk about the dead ringer another time, but... Oh shit, I undead ringed there. Now we have to run... Oh god, he got a heal! I was going to butter knife him to death, but... Instead I'll bring him into my entire team, while this spy drops down on top of us, maybe. Anyway. 
Oh, there's a heavy there. He's quite low. There's a demo man. He's quite low. I'm missing him, but it doesn't matter. You cannot fret when using the stock revolver. Why fret? If you miss him, you can blame it on random bullet spread. Or that your hands are a bit chilly. Or that, you know, he's he's from Chile, and as a result, the pings are a bit funky. Why did that spy die there? I clicked on his face to butter knife him and be friendly, and instead he became one with the void, unfortunately. Not not the best thing to become one with, I made show. Like, become one with your, you know, future spouse, that's fine. Becoming one with the void, that's a big no thank you. Like, let's scout there. He was jumping at a weird distance, and his head was all stuck inside this blue wibble there. Didn't know, how would you shoot him with the ambassador? You'd have to, like, wait a second and click, and it's all fretful. Instead, I just kind of looked in his direction, and then he went away. Which I will say 50 times more. That medic there, he's worrying me, so I'll click on him. You, scout! Oh god, I'm being sandman. Don't worry, I have a dead ringer. It's very balanced. Look, now I, now I can run away for free. This isn't the Dead Ringer episode, but it feel like it's turning into it. There are going to be a hundred people at this next ammo pack, or another spy, okay. We know what. We can solve this with one very, very simple disguise. The butter knife disguise. He thought I was going to butter knife him. This knife... Look. Go away. You too. Come here. Oh, actually, there's a demo man. He might click on me once. Oh god. No, we'll shoot him. I didn't have to- Oh, sorry, I know I'm feeding him over. It's a pub. It doesn't really matter. That dumb man there is being too fretful. He's worrying, isn't he? He's like, oh, this spy has unusual hats, and he's killing me, and doesn't have as many deaths as me, and he's all- Oh, oh he's probably making that noise. He's probably going, oh, we're not doing that. We're relaxing. You know, we're sitting back. We're listening to some nice- Some nice Toho rock music, perhaps, and- Why- Why are you all the way here on last? He has 19 health. Is this scout going to come to the health pack and chase us? Why fret? If he comes in here and kills us, we shall not fret. Instead, we will undisguise so they can't see us through walls, and we'll wait for the Dead Ringer to recharge and then run out there. We're not fretting, though. There's five minutes left in the mission. There's people chasing us around last while they're attacking first. There he is. We shot him. Did we have to worry about aiming his head? Did we have to worry about, you know, tickling his toes first or, you know, inviting him to dinner? No, we just, we just clicked on him. The scout is spending t way too much time on one spy. You stinky individual, go away. I don't want anything to do- you know what? We're gonna do a butter knife, come here. No. No, we're not friendly. We are not friendly. You smell. <laughs> I've got an achievement? May I cut in- is that like butter knife someone while they're taunting? Do I- am I always friendly for the last six years? <laughs> is how, have I never killed anyone as spy while they're taunting? What is that? Kill, melee kill 10 players while they're doing the square dance, square dance taunt. That's, that's fair enough. That scout's gonna come back for us. Now he's like, oh god, he killed a friendly! It's a first person shooter, but he shot me. What's up with that? Instead we're going to do a little wiggly woo and he can't shoot us now. Watch out. Oh god, there's too many people! Look at this! We haven't been fretting or running around with the ambassador. We've instead been worrying like 50 people on blue team. Look at this! Look at where their cart is! It's over there! <laughs> they don't need to be here! And have I just been repeating the same commentary over and over again for like 20 minutes? Let's not worry about that. And so let's go back to the commentary. So do you know what the revolver's excellent at that we haven't had a single chance to show off because like we're on defense basically? It's that it's amazing at taking out buildings. You see that mini? You can three shot it V fast. This man standing still? Why would you backstab him when you can backstab him and then backstab the soldier who will kill you with the direct hit because you jumped a little bit too early? I have no idea what I've been trying to say this entire video. There's not really much to talk about on the revolver, really. It's just really good. Um, would I like to switch teams? No, not really. I have no idea what I've been trying to get at. It's just a- it's a fun weapon. There you go. That's- that's my point. It's really- it's not- there's not really much to say. It's just really consistent. <laughs> That's it in the short. I don't really want to speak for like 50 minutes about how great the revolver is, because everyone already knows it's great. And if I were you, and you're not having a fun time with the ambassador, don't bother using it. It's 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 a weapon for fun, and unless you want to spend thousands of hours getting good at it, and then they nerf it, ha, <laughs> use the stock. Like this thing, you can shoot them six times. You can do as good as an ambassador gun spy, if not way way better, because you know there's no such thing as missing with this. It's only random spread. That's what we tell them. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. This was a this was an odd commentary. I know, <laughs> but thanks for watching anyway. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.